Hey guys, it's Ali here. I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to fix a broken palette. And unfortunately, I just bought this today. And somehow it ended up broken. So all you're going to need is a plastic bag and some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to break this all up in. So I'm going to be slipping this into my bag, plastic bag so it doesn't get everywhere. And I am going to be taking something to basically just break this all in here like so just to really um basically we're re formatting everything I guess you can say inside of here now unfortunately I'm having to do this because this really sucks I just bought this. But anyways, this is an easy how-to. Now we're going to be breaking this all up. You're also going to be needing a tissue paper as well. Along with the rubbing alcohol. Okay. So basically just press this down as you um, break it in. It doesn't get everywhere when you take it out of the bag. Like so. Okay. See, now I have... It's basically almost done, but it looks kind of crappy. So we're just going to keep going on and breaking it. I'm going to be using a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And you can put this in like a little syringe or something like that. See how it is? I'm just going to be breaking it up a little bit more. I know everybody hates when this happens. I know I do. Okay. So basically we're going to be taking the rubbing alcohol. Not too much now. I don't have a syringe, unfortunately, so I can't demonstrate this for you guys. But um, I'm just going to put a little bit on the cap. Like so and putting it on the area. You don't want to put too much, just enough that um, it just gets in there, basically. Now, we're going to be taking something flat to really press down in there. I'm just going to use a cap real fast. And press that down. I made it a little bit too wet. That's something you don't want to do. So just press down. And the harder you press it down, the more compact it would be. You see? Now this one I just did the... Um, on this side it was perfectly fine. It was just this half. That was basically messed up. So that's what I'm really concentrating on. And just press it down. This is the finished product. I could way too much on that side. Once it dries, it will come out pretty nice. Uh, I do want to have a nice texture on here. I am going to get um, tissue and press that on it firmly. So this is my napkin that I have. This one has like a pretty. Um, 
an indentation, if that's what you even want to call it. So I'm just going to again be pressing down gently, but firmly. And this little piece keeps coming up because it is in a compact cell. But basically, when it dries, it will come out real nice. And it will be an easy fix to a big problem. I'm just going to tap out the access. So just let that sit for a little bit, and I'll be ready to use. So that's basically how I do it. And you, if you take more time with it, it will come out a lot better looking, but since I'm in a rush, I'm just going to leave it like that. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy.